Welcome to the CES Exams Review Center. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and please hit that notification bell to receive newly uploaded videos on the CES eligibility process. How to effectively pass the CES way? In one of Aesop's fables, a crow on the verge of dehydration spies a pitcher of water from a distance. Upon closer examination, the crow discovered that there was so little water in the pitcher that it was impossible for him to get a drink. You don't have to rush to take this as well. Some candidates, upon feeling the adrenaline, soup upon the sesway and miserably fail. Why? Mostly were ill-prepared for such tests. Some passed but not due to luck. Some have developed aptitudes and skills measured by the sesway. For those who failed, what must be the reasons? Mostly think that the sesway is just like the civil service, non-professional or professional examinations. Some believe they're passing the bar, medical board, CPA board, and so forth and so on, are enough guarantee that they will pass the sesway. This notion is partially true and partly false. True because just like the CSE, the sesway measures some general aptitudes such as error recognition, reading comprehension, data interpretation, and logical reasoning. But the SESWE is thrice difficult than your CSE. The SESWE does not stop on the general aptitudes. It will capture your basic knowledge, skills, and attitude in management through the information, management concepts and problems, and essay writing subtest. The SESWE is a qualifying test for the CES Assessment Center. Remember, the purpose of the CES eligibility process is to identify CES candidates who have the management potentials. It is based on the competency framework developed by consultants hired by the CASB. You will notice a trail of activities in the CES process built upon this foundation. Taking the sesway requires a paradigm shift on your part. You must approach it with a strategic mind frame. This is the bahala na attitude. Work up a review system based on realistic scope and practical strategy. Now, how are you going to do that exactly? I'll be frank with you. If you have the confidence to work up a system, Organize your review staff based on those objectives and lengthy research. You can do it on your own. You don't spend a thing. But if you don't want to waste a sweat, enroll in our review center. We have the staff right before you. Now, what makes our review program different from traditional review centers? Our approach is systemic. That means it espouses a strategy. All successes are born of strategy in whatever discipline or field. You are used to buying review programs, offering sample questions and answers. Now what happens if you are spoon-fed with sample questions and answers? You taste the food, but you do not know how to make the food. In the CES way, you should know all the concepts and strategies involved in the CES way before doing practice tests. Don't fall for shortcuts. It is unwise and useless spending of money, time, and effort. For example, in logical reasoning, 
we don't just throw you questions on induction, deduction, casual inference, or analogy. We teach you these concepts and the accompanying strategies in dealing with questions on these areas. On your own, you learn how to juice out the right answers. In the information subtest, you are faced with a plethora of possible questions. The scope is so large that you can hardly blink. The trick here is to isolate the core from the myriad of lesser possibilities. In our review program, we exactly do that and that gives you the right focus. In the management concepts and problems, supplying you with speculated sample questions and answers is banal or amateurish. What do you intend to gain from it? If you have no right foundation, it's just like scratching the surface of an ocean. You must get down to the bottom of knowledge. In our review program, you will revisit the fundamentals of management involving the history and the concepts of management, including the styles of management. We even feature a lesson on the relationship of management and leadership to clarify such roles which is beneficial to your assessment. The essay writing subtest determines your knowledge, skills, and attitude in effective written communication. This will establish if you deserve to take the AC. If you can communicate effectively, the AC is not for you. But the SESWE is just focusing on your written skills. In essay writing, we don't speculate the topics to be discussed in it. It's myopic and unwise. We teach you how to write a good essay, focusing on the three-part and five-part forms of essay. We also give you a good number of management essay samples that you can get inspired with. Now that we have given you a full account of how to pass the SESWE effectively, please remember the Aesop scroll. You don't swoop down on the water pitcher immediately to get that drink. Put your pebbles of concepts, strategies, and applications into the vessel of your mind. Only then, you can drink from that pool of wisdom. Our SESWE online review program can be finished in two months if you consistently do your part. Two hours of review a day is sufficient. It is a synchronous, no live session. All lectures are in pre-recorded videos and textual presentations. Self manage this video was brought to you by the ses exams review center the first and only online review center in the philippines mm -hmm.